Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rajesh, and you are watching Input Output Canvas. So today in this video, we'll see how Dynary Operator works in JavaScript in some very easy way and with some very basic examples. So before starting the video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon because when I'll upload a new video, you'll get the notification at first. In the previous video, we have discussed about break and continue in JavaScript in a very easy way and with some very basic example. And if you still have not watched that useful concept yet, then please watch that video. So you can find this video in this playlist. So don't skip this useful concept. Okay, so let's start the video. Okay, so first of all, as usual, we have created a folder here that is lesson 16. Okay, so inside this folder, we'll create a file here that is index dot html so you know we'll do this thing repeatedly because this will be very easy for you so how to create the basic things so for that reason i created these things from the beginnings okay so here we'll write the basic structure of the html and you know how we will write the basic structure using this exclamatory sign and then press enter and your html code is ready now inside this body tag write the script tag and inside this script tag we'll write our javascript part so just save this and inside this script tag we'll write some conditions here that is if in greater than zero if in greater than zero so suppose any is a number and if in greater than zero then we'll print something like document dot write and here will be positive positive number and give here your n then plus so n is positive number okay and we have saw how to use the if else and if you have not watched that video please watch that basic video because this basic thing will be very important for you in your upcoming future okay so let's write here and inside this else part we'll check here if n is equals to zero if n is equals to zero then we can write this here so n is zero just write here zero or you entered zero just give a message like this you entered zero else else what else just give a message here in its negative number so you can see we have write one two three four five six seven eight nine so eight to nine lines of code for these conditions but if we use the binary operator so we can write all the things in one line of code so let's write the end so what is end so user will give some number will take the user input so let's variable n equals to prompt just use this prompt to take the user input and give a message here that is enter a number and give here please please enter a number and write here number okay and let's see the output then we'll convert this whole code into then we'll convert this using the ternary operator in just one line of code okay so let's save it and press on go live button and you can see please enter a number okay just write here a big number like one eight triple nine okay and press okay and you can see one eight triple nine is a positive number okay let's see with some zero and you can see you entered zero okay that's correct let's give some negative number like this and you can see this is a negative number okay now let's do the same thing using ternary operator so we'll convert this whole code to ternary operator okay so in the ternary operator we can check here like first there will be condition part that is n is is greater than zero if n is greater than zero then we'll give here this question mark and before this question mark, this is the condition if n greater than 0 then we'll write here positive positive number okay and then if this condition is false suppose n is 
less than zero then we'll write here the colon and then give you the message negative number so if this if this is true then this message will be printed if this is false then this message will be printed and its syntax is first there will be condition and this condition if this condition is satisfied then after this question mark we can write the result here and if this condition is false or not satisfied then after this colon we can give the message if this is false so this is the syntax so let's see if this simple syntax is working or not so let's comment it down and save it and come to here and give here a positive number okay suppose give here one two three four and you can see nothing is printing why nothing is printing here because we don't have give here document dot write we just write this string okay so just copy this from here document dot write and then paste it here otherwise this will print this so just paste this here okay and save it and go to the browser refresh the page and give your number like this and you can see this is a positive number okay okay so let's give you a negative number and you can see this is a negative number and if we give you a zero what the result it will show it will show positive or negative so let's say zero is a negative number why because this condition is satisfied if n is greater than zero then this positive number this result will print it so for the zero this condition is satisfied because this is false for the zero if n is greater than zero if it n equals to zero then it will come to here and this result will print it so for that what you can do we can check here with some another example okay so after this colon just give your if n is greater than zero then this result will be printed otherwise it will come to here and here we'll give some another conditions like if n is less than zero so we'll give here suppose we entered zero and this condition not satisfied so if this condition not satisfied it will come to here and it will check another condition if n less than zero if it's true then then we'll print this is a negative number otherwise otherwise we'll print you entered zero entered zero just save it and check it so give here a positive number like this and enter and you can see this is a positive number okay let's give some negative number and you can see this is a negative number and the final thing is let's give zero here okay let's give single zero okay and check it oh there is no output what i have done okay we have not write here document dot write okay just just copy this code and paste it here and write it in capital so let's save it and refresh this okay let's give zero here and you can see guys you entered zero okay so this was a final checking point and we have do this successfully so you can see how easily and how smartly we have converted this if else condition so long code into just one line of code okay so hope you understand this and if you have not understood how this is worked so then please watch this video again and it will be very easy for you to understand how this is working the how the whole thing is working first of all we have write the whole thing using if else condition then we have converted one by one using this ternary operator so this is very simple and very basic thing i have implemented here and this is very useful thing so now it's your turn that is i will give you a task so the task is you have to print all the numbers from one to suppose 100 okay so print all the numbers from one to 100 which are divisible by five okay so your task is print numbers from 1 to 100 which are divisible by 5 if numbers from 1 to 
100 which are divisible by 5 so the result that suppose suppose 45 45 is divisible divisible by 5 otherwise you have to write a result like not divisible by 5 not divisible by 5 okay suppose user uh, give a number like 46 and you have to print like this 46 not divisible by 5 okay so this is your task and you have to complete this task after completing the task just copy your code and go to the comment section of this video and paste your code there so hope you understand the task and hope you the main thing is hope you understand the ternary operator how ternary operator works so my motive is to make you understand how these things are works in some very easy way and with some very basic examples if you have any doubt or questions or queries then please comment down below because when you interact with me then i will get to know what is your problem and what problems are you facing okay so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next video till then watch my other videos